A couple of weeks ago, I made a video showing my flatmate Alex, who has somehow never seen the Inbetweeners before, the first series of the Inbetweeners, and I said if the video hits 70k likes, we will watch season 2, so here is that video. Another 70k likes, and we will watch season 3. Subscribe and press the bell to ensure you'll see it when it drops. Enjoy! Alex, season two. Yes! My first hurdle of the new term involved a freezing cold day in January, a coach, and Jay calling me a bender. Sounds like every day that I live. <laughs> That's just every day for me. That's just me when I walk down the bloody street. The Swanage field trip is legendary for carnage. It's the only reason I chose geography. Uh, have you ever been? What's a Swanage? I don't even know where Swanage is. Where, where is Swanage? I used to go Swanage all the time. Right, they have like a Thomas the Tank Engine ride there. <laughs> what? Okay, this is from 2007, but still, I think they have better camera apparatus in oh, 2007 it's, it's than Thomas, this. It's Thomas! It's Thomas! Look, it actually is him! Look at him, his face is now visible. He looks very angry. He is, he was pissed <laughs> off. He looks quite menacing from back here. <laughs> Mate. Look at him. That's <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine, you know, long stretch in prison, as you can see here. He came out a different man. So I asked Mr. Kennedy if I could come down and help him out. Pedo Kennedy? He said yes, presumably. He did, actually. Who's Pedo Kennedy? Geography teacher and Pedo. Of course he was. To be fair, everyone had a Pedo teacher. Like, it's a lot more common than a lot of people let on, innit? And by people let on, you mean Ofsted. Yeah, Ofsted, <laughs> the police. The school. The school itself. I, I remember, like... A weird geography teacher was also a pedo. A, uh, sorry, a what? He was a pedophile. You had a pedo. Yeah, because he he was you know he was cool, so we don't we don't say it with a hard E. All oh, right. Because we respect we because we respect him. Uh, no, we did. Uh, he was convicted of everything. So this is actually a true story that happened. I had like a school counselor who 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 I had to go see because I was I think they considered me troubled <laughs> because I some days I just. I just leave school. Fuck it out. Because of the because of the bullying. No, no, no. I just get, I was just anxious. I was an anxious boy, so I just got up and left sometimes. And they made me go to this counselor. There was like three others of us. He didn't do anything to us. You know what makes me want to stay in school, man? When they're anxious and they're trying to leave school. Send them to the pedo. Put them in the pedo pit. <laughs> I don't know why they're going, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. at my school. Everyone would have been for it. I don't, I don't told a, a, a bunch of old people to fuck off. And that, everyone would have cheered. Sit on my lap if you like. <laughs> no, thank you. I thought you should know that that thing you did in the bus was really sad and pathetic. No fucking teenager speaks like this. What are you, a fucking 30 year old woman? You, you're a Karen. You're angry that he went like that to some old people. You're really that pissed off. You think it's really that disgusting. They've lived long enough. They've had much more abuse than that in their time. Yeah, they went for a war, man. Fucking hell. They probably fought in the war. This is the respect they get when they come back home. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean it like that. They come I back mean, home. They've had worse. They've had bullets held at them. Surely they can handle a bit of that. George Mavia loves to go into old people and go, I know you fought in the war. <laughs> oh, what? Fuck off! I wanted the others to win! <laughs> Challenge! <laughs> I didn't. She is fit though. What? Lauren's fit, isn't she? I saw her first. What? I only said she was fit. See, I never had this issue. What do you mean you didn't have this issue in terms of what? We wouldn't let girls talk to us in school because they, uh, girls are losers. Well said, actually. You know what? And I still agree to this day. I don't let women talk to me now. If a woman ever approached like this, it might happen like once a year, a woman might approach me to talk to me. I just go, ah! and then they leave. So, because I don't want to talk to girls, do you know what I mean? The noise that just came through the Discord call <laughs> was just something that was basically unhuman. I can't even describe <laughs> what that sound was. <laughs> Well, no, that's that's why it's so scary to them. Then they just leave and leave me alone. I heard the scream through the through the fucking other door, but this was just like just complete noise. <laughs> well, actually, he's eight, so he's a bit more mature, like. But you know, <laughs> roasted feisty one, you are. Feisty one, you are. He dropped that Star Wars game, man. Stop <laughs> dropping some Yoda game. This is you talking to women. This is you showing women your Death Star piece. He's got a piece of the Death Star. I do. I spent 3,000 Great British pounds on it. It's like a square from like one of the models they used in, what was it? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah, and it works every time. You, what do you mean it works every All oh, right, all right. You show them the Death Star piece and, you know, it's basically recruit mode from there on. It is. It's like I'm playing an amateur. Shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, good. I thought you might, you know, have a problem. <laughs> or Asperger's, maybe. Wrong again. Have you ever been tested for anything? 
fucking one. This is me talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We took a test, didn't we, George? We took a test. We did, but it wasn't like a proper one. Somehow you got really low on it. I don't have I don't have autism apparently. If I did, it wouldn't be a problem, but apparently I don't. It says I'm likely to. There's a little noise down the hall. It sounds like a party. Do you fancy it? Party? Hmm. Cool that sounds. <sighs> You know, you're never, ever going to get laid. That's <laughs> <laughs> me. It's just me. On my way to bed, thought I'd check how you are. Ooh, swimming's tiring. <laughs> Your leg's tired. What am I watching here? Quick massage um, before bedtime. Ah, tired legs. <laughs> I could say so many YouTubers' names here. But I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, it's best just to go on set, really. You rub my legs. Well, that's what you get for leading on pedos, you slut. <laughs> Jesus, that is awful. <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. I've hired a boat this afternoon. Why don't you come out on it with me? I'm not sure. Oh, go on. Please. Epstein be like. I've hired an island. Cornetto, please. One Cornetto. Fucking love a Cornetto. Fucking love an old woman. <laughs> Not, not the same. Are you the woman who sucks schoolboys off? Sorry? <laughs> Can you suck me off? Me when I do my, my very selfless voluntary work at the retirement home. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no! Sorry, Simon! That water looks absolutely grim. Yeah, the thing is, they actually filmed this. They, this isn't like Hollywood CGI sound station. They actually filmed this in shitty England. Yeah, exactly, on a low budget. Like, they chucked him into that water. <laughs> oh! <Jesus laughs> oh. Wait, so that fish is alive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... So did they did they catch that fish? You better kill it. It's the kindest thing to do. It won't survive back in the sea now. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh God, this is brutal. But that's a, that is a real fish, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah. I think they, when he punched it, it was like dead. I don't think he killed it on set. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I just witnessed. We're gonna have to swim back. It's very cold in there. We'll just row back on holiday in Spain one year. Me and my mate took a pedlo out and we went to Africa. <laughs> God, that reminds me when I went to Spain. <laughs> when I went to Spain, and so I can't remember it was, but somebody was like, oh, you know, we're only like two hours away from Africa. And I went, well, we're not going. What, on the pedalo or by speedboat? Interesting. Wow, who's that from? Hannah Fields in the year below. Sniff it to see if she rubbed her fanny on it. Neil. I remember if you were dating somebody in the year below <laughs> at school, you just get called a nuts. You're, you and you, you get a birthday card from your mum. <laughs> Wait, what were you saying? My mum's anyway, gonna, my saying? mum's gonna s no, no. Sorry, I really interrupted you. What no, you saying? no, no. Okay, go on. My mum's probably gonna fucking see this. Is she? Yeah, she. I mean, like, probably. Sorry, Mrs. Alex. That is not my name. It's not my last name. Oh, anyway, not my last name. Take that back. No, I'm not gonna. Anyway, go on. What were you saying? Nothing now. I got freedom of speech. I can say what I want. Go on. You, you were gonna say something. <laughs> we're not taking away your rights. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I ain't your fucking mate. He's touchy. Yeah, it's probably because he's such a short ass. <laughs> yeah, what'd you say? <laughs> this is me on the internet. Just 12 year olds threatening to beat me up. This is literally when I walk down the fucking street. Especially when I disrespect an alpha male YouTuber. They all, they all fucking come for me. It's unbelievable. Yeah, no, this is you. They're all like 12 years old. Neil was at the newspaper, happily wasting the opportunity of my lifetime. Toby. Your work experience is here. I refuse to do work experience. You refused? Why? It sounds. It's, I was just wasn't allowed. Well, my school was considered too much of a liability. Why were you not? Why, why did you not want? To? New Milton is literally like eighty nine percent charity shops and a subway. Please, my allergy. <laughs> this is the initiation to the Memeulous channel. Like whenever I get a new person on, they get lobbed into a river. Me, you, and James Marriott go out and, and lob George Clarkey into a river. Yeah, George Clarkey could beat all of us with one hand tied behind his back. <laughs> she's fit, she's older than me, and she goes like a porn star. Oh, right. Yeah, and she's got massive titties, and I... Well, I... Fucked her hard and all night long. Me to the people in my comment section that keeps call that keep calling me a virgin. They keep saying I get no bitches. I do. Yeah, plenty. They're always coming. It's like a revolving door in this flat. <laughs> George actually got one installed. You know, one in, one out policy. When you come into the flat, we always just got a revolving door. We've got a ticketing system, like you know, like when you go to the butchers or something, and you give you like a ticket, and then we've got a wait. We have to have a waiting room now. That's what women are. 
Mate! I didn't mean it like that. You drew that own conclusion yourself, Alex. That was already in your head. It was, because I'm a misogynist. I'm going to go find Charlotte. Up to you. At least it looks like there's some tidy minge here. Okay, so Jay in this one is is a nonce. It's not just the in-between is USA. It is the, it is the in-between is UK. This is my first time watching the UK in-between us since. But no, he is, he is a nonce. Those those are kids. Those are kids, aren't they? Yeah, they're about... They're, they are all about 12 years old, Alex. <laughs> Me whenever I go to a nightclub to numb the pain of actually being in the nightclub. What, you hit on a child? No, but no, that wasn't that, Alex. I meant doing the drink, you fucking freak. I didn't mean like that. I don't know if I want to watch this. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not staying in. George, when when you said, oh, watch the in-between, Alex, watch the in-between, was it because of all the nonce scenes? Is that why? Is this why everybody enjoyed it? Is this why I've been missing out on it? <laughs> It's part of British culture, Alex. You and Clarky were like, how how could you how could you not have seen it? How could you not have seen it? It's so good. Especially all of the nonce. To be fair, in the show, she is only a year younger than him. Although, if you did that at school and you, you went for a girl in the year below, at least in my school, you would have been ridiculed for it and called a nonce, even though it was only a one-year age gap. Yeah, no, in, in British schools, I think you would be. Although I ran into a bunch of Americans who said like like it would be normal to like date like the people who just joined the school and I was like that's not normal you're a nasty little virgin see you later there's glass in that that's horrible I don't think that was glass I think it was ice cube I sorry you know everyone likes their likes their sprite with a bit of broken glass in it makes it feel more dangerous I do not want to see piss coming out the end of your cock I could sit down and do it what I do that sometimes you know for a treat to be fair I do like a good sit down wee every now and then a sit down wee is rather because I'm on my feet most of the day, you know, energetic job and that. Working down the mines. Working down the mines, you know, a, a good, well-deserved sit-down wee is what the doctor ordered a lot of the time. You sit on your arm till your hand goes dead. 10, 15 minutes is normally enough. And then when you wank, it feels like someone else is doing it. Do you know how I like to do that? God. If you use a dead body, because <laughs> there's no life in it. And technically, there's no crime there. There's no problem because they're not alive anymore. It's just like, it's mm. just, you know. I mean, there is a crime. There is a... No one is harmed. I don't think that's illegal, is it? it yes. What? Are you disappointed? I just... Yes, Alex, you can't have sex with dead bodies. I... Sorry to break it to you, but you can't. No, look, I'm just going to quickly Google something. If I... Fuck a dead body. Alec, are you actually going to search that? An internet service provider is going to be on my fucking case. You can't phrase it like that. You can't, you're can't. you sharing your screen with me. Can you see my screen share? Yes, I can see, I can see your screen share. <laughs> Give me a second. How long will I be in? Alec, fuck it up. You're not even on incognito. You're a brave man. Science wouldn't lie. You could bring a corpse to orgasm. I didn't need to know that. We do now. George, boy, I'm going to get in trouble for Googling that. I think you'll be all right. You're just educating yourself on the law. <laughs> My mate's brother invented it. He and his mates used to be called the Dead Hand Gang. They had a gang based on masturbation. It's called the E-Boys. <laughs> You're the side men. <laughs> side men. It's what they do, man. It's what they do in their spare time. They jack each other up. Hmm, not a smiley face. I can't bring myself to send a smiley back. God, this is like MSN, man. Every time a slag would ignore me, I just said, well, the, the nudge, the nudge of fake. Oi! I reply! Hey! How much Lego can you stuff up your bum? Oh, for Christ's sake. It's a valid question. My record was 42 pieces. 42? How, what kind of pieces, though, are we talking? Because if it's a little one, like the one studs, that's not impressive, I don't think. It was the Lego Harry Potter set. Um, <laughs> the whole set. Yeah, it was one of the mini ones. You know how they, how on like some Lego channels they do like build in the bag. I, I, I do that. I do that, but I build it while it's like in my house. <laughs> <laughs> worse. Do you want to see one that I got up there earlier? I, I, I actually did the roller coaster. Oh this, my god! This Alex. one, this one used to be white. Yeah, nice, nice one. <laughs> right, okay, right. Watch this. This is tame, they're not even naked. Yeah, the thing is, we've all been in a situation like this where we've been shown that video. Maybe not in the middle of school, <laughs> but it was usually like around a friend's that We didn't get shown it in school. I don't think the, the school firewall didn't allow us to play Minecraft, so I don't think it would allow allow us to, to do that. Imagine if everything was blocked apart from that. It's like the school homepage. This was the first thing. Here is a circle. It knows. How can they watch that without shame loudly? In for I get embarrassed watching TikToks on loud in public. Basically the same thing. Though. Yeah, yeah. At this point, basically, yeah. Hang on. Slow down a minute, sorry. Pass! 
Ghost Wankers! And there, a legend was born. I don't think if you are, like, in the UK, you could actually get a bus without... Without being feared of someone driving past. Maybe it's better now because we're about, I don't know, 13 years on from this series. But, you know, back in the day, you get called a bus wanker all the time. I don't think I've ever passed a bus stop and not said it, though. Really? You pass a lot of bus stops. Well, every bus... There's a lot of bus stops. Like, every time you pass a bus stop, you just mutter under your breath, bus wankers. It's a reflex, George. I can't help <laughs> myself. I've got to do it. I've got to fucking do it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really. Who's a wanker? Please. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a really wanker, man. Really really yeah. Sorry. That's another one. That, like, like you know, like when they, they would be like, oh, friends, friends, and everyone would fucking say that all the time. Every time you you could ne you couldn't apologize to someone for for a number of years after this ad because you just you just in a response you just get oh sorry sorry oh sorry you couldn't accept responsibility and apologize to someone genuinely. In between us, we're in buses, having friends who are interested in football and apologizing to people, and also man. I say. Also ruined nonsense. Right. Used to be a good sport back in the day. No, you two shit yourselves. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Me that time that guy pulled a knife on us. He didn't pull a knife on us. That's why I laughed at him. He pulled a knife on me. I wouldn't have laughed at him. I would have. I would have laughed more. Right, no. I laughed at him and he left. A man tried to rub me and Alex and he didn't have a knife on him, so I laughed at him and he walked away. Yeah, well, I've been here long enough. I suppose you have. Really want to get inside and dance now. No one says that when queuing up for a club. No one's like, oh, I really want to get in so I can dance. Yeah, they go, I want to get in and do a fucking line. Anyway, nice to meet you, Dean, but we're off. What? I'm good here. Me to every woman who's got a boyfriend. Me to every woman that shows any form of interest in me. I, I claim her in my mind. So if she talks to another guy, I'm just like, oi. Over here. I go back to like kind of caveman instincts. It normally ends up with me beating them to death in an alleyway. Uh, that's perfect. not staying in. Alex, that's all getting beats and I'm just... I was talking about the women. I was talking about, talking about the men. Oh, okay. That's fine then. I want 200 pounds! The tax man at me when I, I pay my VAT bill about a minute late. It would be a good idea for the sixth formers to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. Bloody Duke of Edinburgh! Did you ever do that? No. Nope. I did it. I did it and I got a condition in my arm that hadn't been seen since like World War One or World War Two. What? Yeah, I got, um, it was cool. I mean, in that hospital it hadn't been seen since then. It's called brachial plectal palsy and basically it fucked, it's like nerve damage of some kind and I couldn't move my arm properly like above like there. See, I I was never done by the Duke of Edinburgh, but the Prince of Wales did do me once. So you mean Duke of York? Which one's Andrew? Duke of York. Yeah, he fucked. Nice joke, Alex. He fucked me. <laughs> my nephew went to centre part six weeks before his entrance exam to Oxford. Didn't make the cut. Decided to take a year out. All his friends went to university. By the time they returned for Christmas, he'd hanged himself. This is me to YouTube is where they stop uploading. He took six, week, six weeks off. He took a month off, came back to his channel, was dead, hung himself. He got a 10 and 10. Got a 10 and 10, hung himself that night. Sorry, you spunked your pants in the common room during the day when there were people around? Yes. And then your pubes fell out. We've all done it. We've all been there, man. It may have been a rush of blood to my head. Surely, like, having... No pubes is better than having that many pubes. No, my motto is that I like to have it like Marrow and Flaney's down there. You actually, you, you never shaved that, never have, never have. No, I never have. I like, I, I believe in things should run its natural course. And so after 17 years of trying to get girls to touch my penis, I was now doing everything I could to prevent it. Why didn't you just go to the toilet and just get rid of it? Yeah, I mean, that would have been an idea. That's a dead person's wig. No, it's, it's not a dead person's wig. It's just an old person's wig. So, I mean, almost, you're almost there. I forget how young you are. I shouldn't be doing this. You're, you're a child. No, no, no. No, it's not that. So is she admitting to herself that she's a nonce? A classic moment of regret. Well, I've all been there. What am I watching here? I don't know. The sound isn't, like... The sound's very off-putting as well. I probably can't keep the sound in, but the sound of him doing it is is not very... Oops, stop it. It's very relatable. He's helping out as part of the Duke of Edinburgh scheme. How nice. Thank Thanks for looking after Mum. Yeah, this happens all the time. You know, I shake hands with a man after the wanking over his elderly mother. You, you never done that? <laughs> if Jay's made up memory skills are bad revision. Fucking okay, hell, that's an, oh, that's an old one. Oh, it's Pez. It's Pez. I think it's Pez. FIFA 1864. He's playing as red turkey versus blue turkey. They're the same flags. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. God, I can relate to this. I do that all the time. I can't say that I do relate, really. And I text her like 15, 16 times a day, just to keep in touch, you know? 
Good idea. And I'll send her Facebook messages and that. Bebo, MySpace. Fucking hell, Bebo. What's Bebo doing now, man? Let's have a look at Bebo. Wait, what does he say? We tried our best to resurrect Bebo, to create something new and fresh, but perhaps it wasn't new and fresh enough. There's been a fun project built during the pandemic, but sadly must be sunsetted. Blah, 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 blah. Bebo's not happening again. What do you mean, Bebo's that? What do you mean? How much is Bebo worth? I want to buy it and give it another go. Bring back Bebo, man. Hey, I got a 50 million. Hey, no, no, no. So someone bought it for that, and then the guy bought it back, like, <laughs> few years later for a million dollars. Wait, we could get Bebo. Michael Birch, how much would you sell Bebo for? Like, genuinely. How much would you sell Bebo for? I reckon he should give it to us for free. Or he should change the landing page to just me and you. <laughs> Sir, I need to go to the toilet. Again? Yes. Well, you can't. Sorry? It's going to be the fourth time in an hour. You'll have to wait. Pretty sure you can't do that, sir. Have you seen this scene before, Alex? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, this is probably the worst scene in the whole show. Oh, no. Phil. Oh, Jesus. At that point, <laughs> you might as well just... Kill yourself. <laughs> I don't think I'd take my own life. No, because it's only up from there, Alex. Alex, it's only up from there. There's no lower you can get than there. No low. Maybe if you get convicted for noncing, that's the lowest you can go while still being able to spring up again. The lowest you can actually go is probably get done for nonce and you can't really go up from there. No, I think you can come back. I can think you can come back from anything, you, man. No, you can't. You can't <laughs> come back from there. But there, you could do anything that's up from there. Like, you could, like, I don't know, win five pounds on the lottery. And that's a big win in comparison to shitting yourself in the exam, innit? So that seems like much more. Yeah, everything else becomes great. It's like, you know, people that just, like, eat, like, I don't know, like, um, bland food. When they eat something like, I don't know, watermelon, it tastes amazing. So it'd be the same thing, same principles there. I just don't think it's right we see each other anymore. I think you're a bit too sensitive. I've never understood why people break up with each other in person. It sounds fucking awful. What do you, what do you mean? I, I mean, every time I've been broken up with has been over text. But the thing is, right... I'd rather that, I think. But I'm not too sure. Because I have only experienced it one way. <laughs> Nobody has any respect for you, George, when you like. Yes, they do. They don't want to see you. Yes, they, Alex, yes, they do. They want to be so far rid of you that they, they just they <laughs> drop, they drop your text message and then they, they leave it there. It's not like by lull. It's like a, normally like a long paragraph. To be fair, though, if a woman broke up with you in person and they went, oh, George, you're not doing this anymore, you'd probably go, yeah. What do you mean? You just go, sure. Sorry, Jay, I've made up my mind. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, no one has ever been friends after saying, yeah, let's be friends. Also, can't be friends with women. Yeah, exactly. Men can't be friends with women. It's like, it's as and it's Andrew, I don't, I don't know if Andrew Tate said that, but he probably did. You're right, Simon. Guess the seat, Carl's. I'll get the drinks in here. Yeah? He's 28. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got a fucking receding hairline. There's no way he's below 25. She's supposed to be like 16, 17, I swear. Good on him. Alex. No. Not good on him. Forgot the camera was on you for a second, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So I sometimes <laughs> I just don't, I just don't know. My true personality comes through. She wouldn't have this threesome, even though I organised it with a top leather model. And my cock was too big for her. We've all been there, my friends. We've all been there. Yeah, that's a problem. I, I have quite a lot, actually. Right, what do you think of season two? I think season two is better, far better than season one. I think it's actually coming to its own in season two. I, like, the comedies, it's funnier, considerably funnier. Yeah, are you looking forward to season three? I can't wait, man. I can't wait for season three, because I know that we've got the bit that comes up about Football Manager, and that's what I'm looking forward to. See, see you in the next one. Bye! Subscribe. Fuck off.